uh, in this country, our laws allow uh, individuals to embark upon strikes, uh, demonstrations legally. I mean, using the right procedures. But I've always held the opinion that strikes and demonstrations are not necessarily the solutions in addressing issues or meeting demands of individuals who feel that uh, their, their rights are violated or something untoward is going on in the country. That is not the, I mean, the best or optimized way. For me, it is more about en I mean, engagement. It's more about dialoguing because the government is concerned about activities of illegal miners. Citizens are concerned for everybody. So government has put in place interventions to deal with this, uh, I mean, with, with, with this issue. It demands collective efforts. Efforts not only from government, but from other civil society you know, uh, players. So the media should be involved in this fight. Uh, chiefs or traditional leaders must be involved in, in this fight. And the clergy, everybody must come together for us to, 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 to deal with it. So I will plead with organized labor that instead of embarking upon a strike that we don't know when it's going to end, the best way is to keep engaging um, the authorities for us to come to a meaningful, progressive and productive uh, uh, I mean, solution to, to, to this particular uh, problem. You know what I mean? So, so I'll pray with them. Strike actions, industrial actions, will only lead to, for example, a reduction in productivity. That will also affect our revenue envelopes and all that. Is that what we want? We are a country that is seeking to raise revenues, to build our roads, to build other infrastructural projects. That, that should be the focus, okay? So for me, continuous engagement in, in this time will help us to be able to defeat it. You know, nobody should think that the fight against uh, Galamse or illegal mining uh, is something uh, that is easy. It's, it, it's complex and, and we all know what is happening. For example, if a uh, an individual can say that this government uh, ban uh, Galamse and that when they win power, they will allow everybody to, to, to go and do Galamse. My good friend uh, Kokubwa has said that I think in 2020 with the former president of the Republic of Ghana who is seeking to uh, be, re to be re elected at the end of this country, John Damani Mahama, is saying that all those who, uh, who have been uh, uh, arrested and put behind bars will be given an amnesty to continue in that uh, 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 illegal uh, activity. I mean, how do you defeat this? One party is discouraging it, another party behind the scenes is also en encouraging it. It makes it very difficult. But when we all agree to fight, to fight it, I think it's possible for us to defeat it so that we don't end. Mining can be done legally, using the right methods and processes, okay, to the benefits of communities, individuals, and the country. You know what I mean? So, so, so for me, we need to look at uh, novel and uh, uh, meaningful ways of mining because we cannot allow uh, the, the minerals, I mean the gold, to remain beneath the earth. We need to exploit them. But how do we exploit them to a meaningful all? These illegal miners. I don't even think that government is benefits uh, 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 from their activity in terms of uh, tax revenue. Okay, so we must all come together to party. The government is not happy that this is going on. That is why uh, government introduced some interventions. Uh, I mean, providing skills training to the youth and in other individuals within the mining enclave to get some skills, so that they will uh, desert uh, mine illegally. So if the government is not serious fighting it, will the government introduce some of these interventions? But we no. also hear members of parliament and also members of the government, mm. government saying um, they fear fighting it because they fear losing votes. And you talk about engagement, organized labor to assert, they've engaged government several times on this, yet the activity keeps thriving, hence their decision to go. Members of 
members of parliament or government, uh, or members of par parliament or some in government who have said that uh, I'm not uh, privy uh, to, to do that. Some, so for me, it, it's about how we fight it. There can be some genuine fears, okay? When one political party is saying that when we, we, we win power, we are going to let these parties go on. So then that statement is encouraging the practice. So if you are on the other side, I mean, I, I mean how will you be, uh, how will you see uh, those kind of statements, you know what I mean? That's why I'm saying that this whole thing, I mean, it's a bit complicated, but it can be dealt with effectively and we can win it when all of us see the need of protecting our lands and our water bodies. All of us, including the media, including chiefs, but um, I mean, po uh, political parties, uh, the clergy, and uh, all of us, when we come together as one to deal with it, we can. We can, we can, we can encourage the youth to do responsible mining. Okay? So, so, so for me, my plea to organize labor is that their ultimatum, for me, is not the best. The best way is to keep on dialoguing, engaging, and finding uh, realistic solutions in dealing with it. If you enter into a negotiation with a certain mindset, okay, you are visited on your position, then it becomes uh, uh, difficult for uh, us to be able to resolve that issue within a certain reasonable uh, 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 time frame. But I want to put on record that this government is committed to ensuring that we have uh, uh, clean water that uh, our water bodies are not uh, polluted and that our forest uh, reserves are protected. Let's all see this as a national responsibility and, 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 and not a, a, a period for some political uh, uh, gains and all that. Thank you.